So uh, I let my game sit for a little extra time and found out there's more than one demo. Oh. How about an unused level where the enemies are NYPD in, <laughs> in an area where this doesn't exist in the game. And also, Spider-Man doesn't attack NYPD because that goes against his modus operandi. Oh yeah, Spider-Man shouldn't be beating up cops. Because Neversoft's uh, big movie fans, how about a James Bond reference right at the end as one of the separate demos? There's also a demo on the train, but we've already seen that. Something tells me that uh, Neversoft was making that level with where you uh, hurt the cops, and someone from Marvel makes a beeline towards Neversoft like, No, you don't! Correct. Absolutely not! Here it is, the records room. Surf the web, surf the web. Shut up, Brock, we don't have time. Parker, wait, could it be? Could what? Yes, we sense our other. Who? Sense who? It's our other, the symbiote known as Carnage. We must stop him. Now? Yes, now. We have no choice. Wait, make more noise. I'm only breaking and entering here. Spider sense tingling. Now what? Spidey, whoever's behind our fence. Ooh. Oh no, chewed grape gum monsters. I was thinking taffy. <laughs> but yeah. Saltwater taffy! Oh no! Human hosts. Yeah, the, the symbiotes, they're not like gloopy alien snot. They are literally just melted gummy bears or something like that. So uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take them out. Now is that what they are or is that a quip from Spider-Man? That's a quip from yours truly, because Spider-Man just says, Ugh, symbiotes, gross! Ugh, melted gummy bears! You know, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be something to say. I will say the, uh, the lore goes deep, my friend. For one game, the lore goes deep. Hmm. Because Venom was supposed to be the only symbiote on Earth, and then more of these suckers showed up, and... That's, that's how it always is, you know? You, you oh, know, yeah. Venom shows up, fuck shit up, it's like, oh, well, man, <laughs> at least there's only one of you! Uh-huh. Yes, well, about that, um, yes, you see, there's actually more of us, and they're coming. There's like 55,000 of us, and they know where I am, so, ah, sorry. I kind of love Venom being the, oh, um, uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, oh, uh, um, actually, uh, <laughs> uh, there might be a couple more. This is where the game gets stupid hard, by the way. I can get out of here now. I've realized the the formula out. here for this specific Spider-Man game. What if we just made it stupid hard in the back half? That way you get more playtime out of it. Is this what the Superman game would have looked like if it was decent? Uh what if what, like what if Neversoft did it, did the Superman game? It's possible. I mean, I can tell they 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 come from love for this game. Sure, yeah, ab absolutely. Absolutely. This game is badass. Every every kid would have loved oh, to have yes. this. Mm -hmm. I bet there are no symbiotes in here either. It's just some of the decisions are very odd, but it might have also been a limitation of the time. Because the symbiotes deal so much goddamn damage. I find myself saying, which was the style of the time? A lot. I, hmm. See, I'm kind of feeling it because the symbiotes have like an infinite they can hit Spider-Man with. Like, let's say you're climbing on a wall and they spit goo at you. They can continuously do that and hit you right as you're coming out of your damage animation you and stun lock you and kill you if you don't move fast enough. That's just poor playtesting. That's rough, man. That That's so bad. It's, yeah, it's either a sadistic design choice or it is a it is a game testing oversight. Yeah, it's, this is the part of the game where I remember as a kid, I was like, I can't beat this. I don't know what's going on. And then I came back later and finally beat the thing. And go, oh yeah, it was mildly difficult for me as a kid, and now it's just still hard for me as yeah. an adult, but... It's actually, it's actually still kind of hard. So, yeah, but you're better. I am better. I've cut out a lot of deaths, let's, let's say that. I would say, just skip the symbiotes altogether. Only fight them when you have to, because they take like, three times the amount of hits to kill than a normal, like, let's say, bad dude. And most of the time you could just punch them off a cliff and then they're just gone. So that's cool. I'm, not, uh, I'm trying to figure out what that red stuff is. I mean, it looks like it's drippy, goopy, mm -hmm. like fleshy kind of material, but then it breaks like peanut brittle. I'd like to say that's just symbiote goo, 
they never properly explain it, but that's what they're trying to show to the but player. How, how does it shatter like that, though? Oh, it's I don't into know. Into chunks, like peanut brittle. Well, that's just a PlayStation thing, I'd like to think. It's just like, hey, we've got a texture, how do we make it break? Yeah, let's just shatter the thing. Well, yeah, I suppose you're right. Nope! Oh. Uh. Something's firing off screen. That doesn't seem fair. All right, uh, this is considered a level, and it's a very short level. We just got an elevator to deal with. I thought, I, I thought this was really hard. Oh, it is really hard. That switch does nothing, so you're just in here just to get hurt. That's fun. Uh, so we need to go to the other door. Ah. Oh, and there we go. Oh, now we can activate it. But there's a symbiote in here too. Is that literally just a gotcha moment? Yes. Just to hurt you. And also, there's a health pack over there, so they at least had the foresight to go, Jeez. a player's a player's probably going to use that room, and I died. Drains your health, man. <laughs> That's just how quick it is. And also, because there's no, like, lock-on system, I can't focus on opening the stupid door, and I just keep getting hit. There are two things oh, this, so, so this none of your, Do none of your web attacks work on this? No. Spider-Man mentions multiple times his regular webbing doesn't do enough to take care of the symbiotes, so we need something. We need something better. It's like, like not even like, unless he's gonna get something. Oh. Oh, oh. He also mentions that uh, symbiote's weakness is fire and sonic. Here's the infinite stun. Perfect accuracy. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Perfect accuracy. I hate them. I despise symbiotes. So we just gotta get the ending of, of Sonic Rush, and then there we go. Let's get some Sonic up in here. And then get Burning Blaze as well. You get Fire and Sonic. And <gasps> nice. Oh no, my my both weaknesses. Ah! Have you been seeing that clip going around from the from the Knuckles TV show, The Flames of Disaster? I haven't. I, I haven't seen a single frame of the Knuckles TV show yet. <laughs> that part right there. People have been putting a green screen behind that when <laughs> Knuckles has like fire fist or something like that. <laughs> the Flames of Disaster. We need that to take care of the symbiotes. There we go. So we need Knuckles then. Let's just get the whole Sonic crew in here, just because it would be the perfect cameo for both of our channels. Got a little bit of Spider-Man, got a little bit of Sonic, we're good. I feel like if we let symbiotes into the Sonic universe, we'll somehow end up with Mephilus the Dark again. And I cannot risk that. I think you just saved a couple timelines with that. Good job, man. You have to go through the left door to get a comic book, but after that, level's over. All right! Bravo! Yay! Ah, printing press. A symbiote generator. <laughs> so this is how the symbiotes are being created. I didn't think that they would resort to industry. I figured they'd be like, you know, more organic. More, uh, bio-engineer, you know? Eggs or something? That is so video game. Oh my god, a generator that creates these aliens. Whoa! It's just a warehouse level. Yeah, exactly. It's perfectly fine. Again, I still think this is like one of the hardest parts of the game. You might see me trying to punch a crate. There's a uh, there's a pallet in this level where you can lift it and find a comic book, and uh, I'm still trying to find it. I don't think that's the one. Meh. Oh, generator. Okay. Just start two more generators. That's. <laughs> Again, very video game. Like, you can just hear the video game shorthand. <laughs> like, we're in a warehouse level. Why? Because it's a bunch of boxes. Easy for designing. Mm -hmm. Don't gotta focus on, like, foliage and, like, a jungle or uh, complicated rock faces and ice or, uh, or uh, you know, uh, canyon levels. Yeah. Can't put Spider Man in a desert because that doesn't make sense, so. <laughs> warehouse! <laughs> I wonder if Spider-Man has ever been in a desert. If there's like any enemy that would take him to a desert. Not saying he'd have to like go there actively, but if somebody wanted to take care of the Spider-Man, you know, take him out of New York, put him in a desert. I've been to a desert, all right? It's when I fucked Venom's mom. That's not funny. But whoa. <laughs> Maybe we'll just bring in an, an obscure Spider-Man villain, and then uh, then we'll be able to find a way to put him in a desert, like some Mariner. I don't think I even know any really obscure ones, because most of mine are Batman ones. I think I've got one obscure Superman villain that I could bring about, and then we'll be in business. Mixel's Click, I think his name is. Oh, is that how you got the Miskel? <laughs> yes. Crap webbing doesn't seem to work on these guys. 
This is nonsense right here. I had some flame webbing, and that took care of one of the symbiotes. And now I can't focus on destroying this generator because I've got too many enemies on my tail. And... Uh oh No, no. All right. You won, but you won! You won, though! No oh, man! Oh, you won! Oh, man. Well, we're back. By the way, that's a beginner's trap right there, that giant... Oh, this trap right here. Where, uh, it just kills you. That's lovely. Also, there's a funny, uh, missable... I shouldn't say missable, because you shouldn't be doing this anyway, kids. There's a printing press death. If you jump into the printing press, you just get flattened and killed immediately. Well, don't do that. Precisely. It's like a King's Quest death. It's like, oh, sorry, Peter. It seems like you weren't newsworthy after all. <laughs> Alright, this part of the level, I hate this. So you got the giant... Just look at the furnace. Look I'm, at this giant thing. I'm sorry. Did we just stumble into Castlevania 64 somehow? I hope I get to jump with Nitro. That'd be perfect. Yeah, the basement of the Daily Bugle apparently is like a dungeon. Complete with giant furnaces that we need to take care of. Or, sorry. They're there so you can throw the symbiotes in there. And burn them. Ah, uh, yes. Our newspaper had this too, until they outlawed them in 2007. You're gonna see a Niskel who forgets that he has a web throw ability. You know, lasso some bad guys and toss them wherever you need to. So you're thinking, not like a Spider-Man, but like an Iron Man, I'd say. Yeah, punch the guys into the fire. That makes sense, logically. And you'll see here, the punch, very unreliable. Because for some unknown reason, punching a dude straight on will send him veering to the left or something like that. <laughs> Also, that guy had a death wish because, uh, he just kind of went into the fire on his own. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. That guy wasn't generated right. He just woke up like, KILL ME! KILL ME! Ah! When you're part of the hive mind, everybody heard that. Oh! Alright. Well, these things kind of randomly happen, so... What if we just... What if we just take care of that? There is actually a special blue reticle letting you know that something special will happen if you web this thing. Ooh. I actually barely use the targeting in this game. It's actually kind of helpful on dealing with bosses and enemies, <laughs> but it's also kind of easier just to web the guys when you're facing them. I haven't quite perfected the, the minute aiming reticles. Yeah, it's So I'm just imagining uh, <laughs> Magic Spider-Man there just, you know, uh, 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 just holding his arm out like, gotta get it just right, aiming it up, one eye closed. Uh. <laughs> Shit. I can actually kind of see him holding up like a spider scope on his wrist, just being like, okay, gotta get it right, gotta get it right. Activating uh. spider scope. <laughs> Perfect. Yo, look at that, why did that guy swing left? He's like, oh, I better, I better be stealthy. I better add my silencer, puts on a glove. <laughs> no! Did you hear that? Nah. Oh, shit. I can't get out of this elevator. I can't figure it out. There's only one opening, and this guy's just taking pot shots at me. I just want to escape. I don't want to deal with this guy, and he just keeps shooting me, and I'm having a bad day. It's good to know that all it takes to trap Spider-Man is to put a bowl over him. On a plate. There you go. Just like any spider. <laughs> Have you seen... I, I wanted to bring this up because it's one of the funniest things during my childhood. Okay, I'm going back to Newgrounds.com, okay? Uh-huh. Web series, Decline of Video Gaming. Did you ever watch those? <laughs> oh, it has been years. You know they got games on the on a Switch now? Really? Super, Super Flash Bros. Oh, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, That's they're on cool. sale a bunch. One gag in there, it's like... Oh, phew. That's like uh, that's like Spider-Man in a bathtub, and he like tries to get out of it, slips in, he goes, ah, damn slippy <laughs> slides. He's like, that's a great joke. <laughs> Whoa, where'd he come from? You ever played their uh, Link in the Lampshade of No Real Significance? Yes, I have. It was cleverly made, and, no. it, and it ended like, you got the lamp! <coughs> <laughs> that's your lock! 
Go home. All right, go home. So there's a secret in one of the furnaces. Yeah, kids, don't go in a printing press, but inside of a of a burning furnace. Yep. There might be candy in there. I was thinking the exact same thing, but I happened to look up and notice there was a, a hole in the ceiling of this furnace. And uh, yeah, there's a health pack, a web cartridge, and some uh, fire fluid. So that's kind of neat. The itsy bitsy spider went up the furnace chute. <laughs> Aww. Out came the flames and hey, I found I'm a thing. <laughs> You know, maybe, maybe one day we should LP uh, deadly creatures and see if Spider can truly overtake all the animals. Deadly creatures, like the one where you play as all those little bugs. Play as tarantula, play as the scorpion. Because uh, can a spider truly take down uh, a lizard, a scorpion? Here. I can't carry it. It depends. I mean, if it's venomous enough, if it's big enough, if it's quick enough. This is what I kind of enjoy about Spider-Man is he's just a little guy and he's taken down these like gigantic larger than life villains. It's always been one of my favorite things about Spider-Man. Hey, hey, the imposter. The imposter. Come back here. That's the guy who framed me and the one who stole the technology. I gotta say, you look just like me. Except, you're more angry back alley than friendly neighborhood. Oh, for decades I've wanted to shut that mouth of yours. Finally, that time is upon me. At last, I will crush you once and for all! <laughs> Spider, you will die! <laughs> Is it too late for us to be friends? Of course not! So, how you doing, Beck? I'm doing great! How are you, Parker? We're friends now. Yes, we are! Would you like to grab some lunch? I would love it. <laughs> Let's get a patty melt! Thanks, Mysterio. <laughs> Appreciate your love for patty melts. Uh, this fight is obnoxious. I hate the Mysterio fight. You have to use Impact Web to kill his little lymph nodes or whatever he's got on here. <laughs> and it's such a bastard of a fight because he's constantly like going through different attack patterns and whatever. It, it's fine, whatever. It's just Impact Web, you have to press forward and web at the same time. And I don't think the game's properly equipped for that. And that's just me bitching. Oh, it's, uh, come on, it's like pulling a, a 360 Ollie uh, Poppet Shove It. Uh, no, no face, stale fish. Christ air! Yeah. Also, the comic book appears on the second phase of the fight, and you have to go on to constantly electrifying floor here. There's also weird hitboxes everywhere. Like, Jeez. like that laser hit me just immediately, and I'm dead. I wasn't shocked at at uh, one time because I was too far into the camera. Like, that's a dead zone right there. Which I guess kind of makes sense because there's real floor, but he also speeds up at random times to hit me with laser. This this fight's a mess. I don't like that when he hits you with his laser, he starts the laser over again. Yeah. And then you got this garbage, so we're almost done with the fight, believe it or not. It's like being slapped, and halfway through the slap, he slaps you again. He just, just, just starts the slap over. And now I have to I have to impact web him as he's trying to pick me up and throw me to the floor while dodging the constantly moving electrified floor. So I need to find the perfect time in between there. And I can't target anything, so I have to look towards him like an idiot, accidentally web instead of impact web. It's like... Oh my god, this took like 15 tries. You know, I don't know why he took the trouble of gaslighting him and uh, getting rid of his reputation and ruining his his, uh, his public image when he could just do this, you know. There are so many versions of Quentin Beck. I love the Marvel one. I love this one, Fishbowl Head here. So glad they did that in Far From Home. Man, that was an annoying fight. Right now you're thinking, if only you'd taken that giant act to Vegas instead. Curse your endless babble, Spider-Man! Speaking of babble, let's hear it. 
Who's behind all this? I'll never tell you! Mysterio may be defeated, but the symbiote invasion cannot be stopped! Symbiote invasion? There are more of them? You fool! There will be more than you can imagine! That fog which blankets the city is preparing everyone in New York for symbiosis! You're the fool, Mysterio! <laughs> Where? Where are they coming from? Go then! On the waterfront! Warehouse 65! A secret passage! If only I could watch them destroy you! Whoever your boss is, he's off his rocker! No one can control the symbiotes! Correction! No one before now! Spare me the propaganda, okay? This isn't a game, Mysterio! The symbiotes will destroy everything in their path unless I can stop them. 